Are you ready to create a sales page like a pro? I will share what I've learned, so stay tuned. Hi Creative Peeps, Nat Reyes once again and welcome to Techie Thursday. And uh, this week I attended another webinar, uh, a lot of lessons learned from uh, Alfie Abiyabi. She's the one who got interviewed on that uh, webinar. And uh, Alfie is a certified public accountant by profession and now she is a virtual professional. I want to share some of the gold mine tips given by Alfie. Uh, she mentioned four tips on how to create a sales page like a pro. I'm uh, going to share uh, the first tip, which is do the CLEARS exercise. CLEARS is an acronym taken from uh, Robert Cialdini's uh, Six Key Principles of Influence, meaning if you want to build or grow your influence, you have to follow this CLEARS formula. Alright, so let's start from the beginning. Letter C stands for consistency. Consistency means that you have to do it on a regular basis. So for example, you are doing uh, YouTube videos. So at least do it once a week. If you are doing blogs, do it weekly. You have to do it consistently. Consistency can also be related to your online presence. So in this case, uh, you can use uh, the same profile picture for all of your social media accounts. Uh, be it on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, etc., etc. So be consistent. Alright, so let's go to the next letter. Letter L stands for likability. This only means that what you present or post online must be likable. Now, the only question for this is that uh, how can I know if uh, what I post would be likable or not? And the answer is simple. Just think of the last uh, video or uh, image or article that made you click the like button. Then uh, create a similar uh, concept or principle around that uh, video or uh, image or article. Then you can create a likable post. Alright? So the next letter would be letter E, which stands for external evidence. External evidence are the good things people say about you. It's not about what you say about yourself. It's about what others are saying about you, about your product, or about your services. Take a screenshot of those uh, comments about you. And there's your uh, external evidence, all right? And uh, by the way, Robert Cialdini called it the social proof, all right? So now we go to the next letter, which is letter A, and it stands for authority. This simply means that you should know what you are uh, teaching or talking about. Study well on your chosen field and uh, become an expert on it. And uh, speaking on expert, I have a previous video here in uh, Techie Thursday where I share about the three kinds of experts. And uh, I placed the link somewhere in this uh, video so you can uh, watch that video and uh, learn about the three kinds of experts. And aside from this, you can also get in touch with people who has authority on your chosen field or also known as influencers. Alright, so let's go to the next letter. R means reciprocity. Have you heard of the saying, you have to invest on people first before they invest to you? So that is how reciprocity works. You have to serve clients first by giving away uh, something for free and then they would know that you are the person that they can trust. Alright, so that is reciprocity. And then we go to the last letter, which is letter S, which stands for scarcity. 
countdowns are very essential. Believe it or not, people act on deadlines. Without deadlines, people will just uh, ignore it. Alright, so, so why do you think there are a lot of people during a uh, sale on the mall? Because uh, people do not want to miss the opportunity of a discounted price. Alright, so that is the power of scarcity. Alright, so there you go. So is it clear? <laughs> Alright, so let me repeat to you the acronym. Okay, so C stands for consistency. L is likability. E is external evidence. A for authority, R for reciprocity, and S is for scarcity. Clears? Now, that is just the first tip that Alfie shared on how to create a sales page like a pro. There are four tips that she shared, and if you want to know the other three, you can check her full interview at this uh, link. Alright. And if you want to know more about uh, Alfie, you can check her website at uh, pingabiyabi.com there. And I also shared that link in the description of this video. So go ahead and check it and uh, go to her website. And before I forget, I mentioned a while ago that Alfie is now a virtual professional. And if you are asking on uh, how to become a virtual professional like Alfie, I recommend you to, to buy this book called The Virtual Careers by Jomar Hilario. And uh, it's out on uh, bookstores now, so go ahead and grab your copy. And uh, one more thing I like this book is that uh, I am in this book. Page 7, there's my name. Alright, so go ahead, grab your own copy and become a virtual professional. So thank you Alfie for sharing your uh, wonderful tips. And uh, for all of you creative tips out there, thank you for liking this video. And uh, if you have any comments, or questions, do type it in into the comment section below and I'd be happy to hear from you. I'd be happy to reply. And if you are new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button because uh, every Thursday, I publish a new video so where I share uh, my lessons learned at webinars. I also share video editing tips, YouTube, and uh, apps reviews. Yes, every Techie Thursday. So go ahead, click the subscribe button. So creative peeps, See you again next Thursday for another uh, fun and learning. Not Reyes here saying, get creative.